Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Stealth winch bumper on this 2014-2015 Chevy 1500. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I just want to let you know this truck has already been through his paces. We've had some different bumpers on there. Uh, the factory bumper is gone um, and, uh, and so we went ahead and we took off the, uh, the, the bumper that was on there. We took off the grill, uh, the lower uh, uh, fascia piece, uh, the top piece on top of the grill. So now everything's all nice and exposed. Uh, so what we want to do from here is we're going to want to cut off the frame, frame horns uh, on the front of this truck. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a sawzall uh, or reciprocating saw. We're going to cut along here, cut along here, and then we're going to snap it off. Let me go ahead and show you how we're doing that. All right, now with the factory bumper, there were some frame supports that were attached here. Uh, we could take those and uh, bolt them back in place and use those to, to uh, break this top weld. Uh, those were thrown away with the uh, factory bumper, so I just took a piece of angle iron. Piece of angle iron. Um, I'm gonna bolt this in place, and I'll show you how to snap off that weld. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a grinder to clean all this up, and uh, I wanna make sure this is all smooth on either side. Uh, the top, I just wanna get it cleaned up. Once, once I get this all smooth on the sides, clean up on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint that uh, with some good rust inhibitor. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and touch up these areas we ground down uh, with some black spray paint. Now this is going to be something that's going to seal all, everything off to where we won't have to worry about rust. We're going to do this on both sides uh, to the frame horns. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I've got the passenger side bracket. Um, now you'll, you'll notice I've got a little kind of a cutout up the top here. We've got a couple oval shaped holes at the bottom. Um, the face of the bracket is kind of pushing out towards the passenger side. This is the way the alignment goes. If you see some of those mirror image or is it upside down, just make sure you're correct. That mirror image goes on the opposite side. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this up uh, to the frame horn. Now this is going to be an ultra tight fit. So what we're going to do is kind of start tapping it in place. Um, then we're going to use a rubber mount to get it in there. What we're going to do is line up these holes to the round holes on the frame. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to take our bolt tabs. Uh, we're going to slide them into the frame. Now I've got this bolt tab facing into the frame because the bolt's going to come out here. Use a supplied flat washer, lock washer, and nut. I'm just going to kind of get that on there just where it's finger tight. The next one I'm going to do, this bolt tab is going to be facing out. Also flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Get that finger tight. All right, next I'm gonna take my third bolt tab. I'm gonna have it facing into the frame again. It's gonna bring this up and come through this hole. Also with a flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. We'll get that finger tight as well. I'm gonna do this on both frame horns. All right, so now we're on the passenger side, uh, just underneath our fender. Uh, we've got a, a fender flare on this one, but 
This piece of plastic right here, all that does is it gives a little bit more rigidity uh, to your factory bumper. We don't need that, and in fact, it's going to be in our way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 7 millimeter uh, socket. Um, uh, I've got uh, three 7 millimeter screws back behind here. I'm going to get in there and pull those out. Once we got those three out, we've also got a T15 Torx bolt that goes right in here. We need to remove that as well. This will pop right off. Now what I've done is I've got the, the bracket pulled as far away on the frame horn as possible. I've got these oval holes, so I've got it buried all the way out to the inside of the oval holes. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and I'm going to tighten these down with a three-quarter uh, ratchet and um, and then I'm going to test fit the bumper. We're going to do that on both frame horns. Okay, now this bumper I've got rolled upside down so you guys can see it better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tabs. Uh, I've located this one right here. Uh, we've got four locations that, that, that we're going to be mounting to, but just for the test fit, I'm going to use this location here because that's going to be the easiest one to get to. So this goes up in like so. I'm going to take one of my retaining tabs, get it kind of started onto the bolt. I'm going to take a 5-8 socket, push it the rest of the way in. I'm going to do that on both of the top inside locations. All right, now I've got the brackets attached to the frame horns. I got them slid as far away from the truck as possible. Um, I've also went ahead and uh, installed the grill uh, and put some protective paint or tape along the bottom edges so that I don't have to worry about uh, this scratching anything. What we're going to do is we're going to test fit it. We're going to line it up, make sure that it doesn't need to go in. If it does, then we'll, we'll be adjusting those brackets a little bit. But let's go ahead and test fit that now. All right, now everything lines up well. I'm going to go ahead and install the winch, then we can install the bumper. Okay, now that we've got the bumper test fitted, uh, we've got the bracket locked in exactly where we want it. We made sure we had enough clearance uh, for our winch. Uh, now on the bracket, you're going to notice on each side of the bracket, you've got a pilot hole that uh, Roanover puts in there for us. We need to make that pilot hole up to a, uh, one half inch, and it needs to go all the way through the frame because we're going to slide a bolt through there. We can do that on both sides of the bracket and on both brackets. All right, now we're going to use our extra long bolt that's provided to, uh, to us. We're going to throw a washer on there. We're going to through one side, out the other. Now this is a very tight fit, so be prepared to pound it through with a mallet. Next we're going to do flat washer, lock washer, and a nut, and we're going to tighten that down. We're going to lock both sides down on both brackets. All right, so I've gone ahead and attached all the components, the winch, the rotor logo, uh, the, uh, the pod lights. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and lift it up, slide it up into the bumper, and uh, go ahead and attach it. All right, we've already got those tab bolts installed uh, with the retainers. So I'm just mounting my flat washer, lock washer, and nut onto those tab bolts. 
All right, now I'm up underneath the bumper. Uh, this is on the passenger side. I've got three more of these bolt tabs to, uh, to attach. I've got one location that's gonna be here, one up here, and one underneath the frame horn here. Um, so what I have to do is I have to get this in uh, into this hole in the bracket, get lined up uh, to this hole right down here. Now, uh, I might have to lift up on the bumper a little bit to get it to fit through. Now, once I have that in place, I'll fit a flat washer, lock washer, and nut over top of that. I can do that to all three of the other uh, tab bolts that, go, that get installed here. Now we're going to go ahead and lift it up, set it, line it in place, and I'm going to get underneath there and tighten down the bolts. I'm using a three-quarter inch uh, hardware. All right, now for the top bolts to the inside, it's actually easier to reach your hand inside from the opening of the bumper and tighten it down that way. All right, now that I get this side tightened down, I'm gonna go ahead and move to this side and tighten it down too. Now, while I had my helpers here uh, and they were holding it in place, I did lock down one bolt on this side and one bolt on this side, just so that it didn't have to I didn't have to worry about it shifting. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.